hello everyone this is Kesh and I'm coming to you today with another video this video is for the persons who know me personally and the persons who do not know me personally and you're wondering what is it that I do alright so for those who don't know I am an early childhood educator right here in Kingston and I work in the government system so um, let me tell you why I became a teacher it was a dream of my mother. I remember growing up one day I asked her what is it that you would have been if you had the opportunity and she said that uh, that she wanted to be a teacher. Um, so I decided that even if I wanted to do something else I would make or live her dream first and then branch off in whatever it is that I wanted to do. So that was my initial plan to go to teachers college and maybe teach for a year or two and then after that I can branch out in whatever it is that I want to do and even though when I went to college I'd applied for language and literature and because I was so late I was told that that course was full and I could only do Spanish or early childhood I decided to go with early childhood and sometimes we have a thought in our head or a dream and God just shows us another way and sometimes the other way that we're directed into is actually the best thing for us because I have, have no regrets about the decision to become an early childhood teacher. I realized that in teaching, personally, I am easily bored and just like the children, I need different things to keep me going and to keep me interested. And in being an early child educator, I realized that I can be everything else that I would want to be. I can dress up for the children, I can become very animated, I could add the arts in it. That's drama, speech, dance, all of the other things that I like can be incorporated into teaching and that would also keep my students interested in what I am doing and I would also entertain myself in the meantime so I would be bored with what I am doing. Teaching is that one profession that teaches everyone else. Of teaching are not financial gain, but the satisfaction that you get when your students perform, when you see where they were at the beginning of the, the school year, and when you give them the end of year assessment, you see the progress that they have made. That is very satisfactory. And um, I believe that that type of satisfaction is not always achieved in all professions and it's one of the things that I said before you won't be easily bored because you have so many activities so many things so many ways that you can deliver your lessons so many um, ideas that you can come up with and utilize and, and even though sometimes we are overlooked and we're not shown much appreciation if you want to be a teacher and a really good teacher an exceptional teacher you have to be able to be satisfied with simply um, the accomplishments of your students and of your work. Teaching is not one of those jobs where you're going to make a whole lot of money or you're going to get a whole lot of gifts and sometimes as I said before um, you, you may be respected um, by parents, students and so on so you have to be strong and work hard at what you do and be satisfied with the um, accomplishments and the achievements. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will have more videos about my career a little tips and tricks that I use um, on a daily basis and I hope this will help a teacher. Thank you for watching.